Molly is a drug that is also known as ecstasy. It's uh, an amphetamine-derived drug. It's a stimulant, it's a hallucinogen. They have smiley faces on it, they have other emblems on it, they're colorful. You'd think these would be safe uh, when in fact we know from a medical standpoint what I do on a daily basis, they're not safe. Molly's been in the news a bit now because of a number of deaths across the country and uh, it's not clear exactly why those deaths occurred. There are contaminants that also can be in there, and we've had cases that are reported in the literature of people taking ecstasy, uh, molly-type substances, and they've also gone into liver failure that have needed liver transplants. We know from studies of those tablets, only 25% of those tablets were pure MDMA. There's sites now that are doing testing, uh, looking at these tablets. You can even send those tablets in to be tested, and they're also finding that only about 25% of those are pure ecstasy. What's the other 75%? can be toxins, it can be other drugs, it can be a number of different things that you certainly do not want to take. Remember, these are neurotransmitters that are being affected in the brain. It doesn't matter if they're healthy, they have no other medical problems, they can still have a problem with these substances and die from these substances. In regards to early warning signs, there may or may not be. Some people who take the ecstasy, depending on what's in it, may have a marked adverse outcome immediately from that tablet. Others though, it may be more slowly evolving. They'll start to develop headache. They'll get nauseated. They'll feel like they have to vomit. If you're at a rave party, you're dancing, it's hot, you're sweating a lot, people are going to drink. And they may drink a lot of alcohol or they may drink a lot of water. And what ecstasy does is it causes your sodium to drop. And it can drop significantly to the point that you have a seizure and then you can have what they call cerebral edema or your brain swells and then it herniates. And that leads to death. And so even a one-time user of ecstasy may be at risk for that occurring. This is what I do for a living. I manage these patients. On any given time, we have a number of patients either here at the University of Virginia or at the other hospitals we're covering for the Blue Ridge Poison Center that we're managing with complications associated with these drugs. And so this is not a myth that you can have complications. It is a reality, and I worry about our student population. The drug dealers are not looking out for the entrance of the students who are out there. The drug dealers are looking to make a buck. Most students, the studies show, do not use ecstasy, 95%. And so there's a small percentage that are users or may use it. Also remember that if you use alcohol, that may disinhibit you when you may not have ever thought about using ecstasy. You may get pushed by someone to use it. That's where it's very important to have friends who are sober, friends who can look out for you, to kind of pair up, to make sure that you're not engaging in risky behavior that may be detrimental to you. With Molly, you don't know what you're getting. It's potentially exceedingly dangerous and can lead to death.